Even during the summer months, the main campus of the University of Houston is buzzing with activity. Students and staff walk the trails through tree-lined courtyards, sometimes not even acknowledging the public art they pass. It's accessible to everybody and there is no barrier. The newest installation is going in here, adding to what started in 1969 when U of H became the first state agency with a public art collection. Some pieces blend in with the architecture, others were meant to stand out. The focus has always been international, modern and contemporary art. You can see the full permanent collection on the Public Art Department's website and even see each individual piece. I think that that's a very unique opportunity and experience. This is one of the pieces you really need to see in person because the appearance of it changes with every angle. People to travel from all over the world to come and see it. And it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite pieces. Other highlights include the Angel's Key by Texas artist Dorothy Hood. She was really uh, at the forefront of American modernism. Jim Sanborn's A, comma, A. He was really inspired by the diversity of our student body and, and faculty and staff. And so he wanted to bring that in and fold that into his work. Here by Sarah Brayman. She is known for works that appropriate ready-made ready materials and objects. Odili Donald Odita's negative space. You need, really need to experience it by walking through it. And another Texas artist's work. Luis Jimenez made Fiesta Jarabe out of painted fiberglass. All of these artists have super interesting stories. Stories you can learn about with a trip to the University of Houston. There is no, never a charge. Reporting in Houston, Brandy Smith. You just hop on over park and here you are. KHOU 11 News.